Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Lord of the Rings Online. Let's play as a hunter. So I returned her sword, and uh, basically what she said was, Ha, huh, permission to be let inside. I don't want to go inside. I will stay out here. Thank you very much. So let's continue. You'll meet this man Horn at the Kustan. I will search elsewhere. I have no interest in this town, Sorandir. These folks are the same as their brethren elsewhere, and have nothing helpful to tell us. I will keep the meaning of your dream, or I will seek the meaning of your dream in the wild. You meet this man Horn at the Kustan. I will search elsewhere. Where did it? S where did he say it was? The Wailing Hills to the west. Take care of yourself, Sorandir. Horn may seem to be a friend, but these people are treasures, and he will prove no different. Keep him at their arm's length. Tier 2 or Orc Hearer. I'm assuming I'm going to need this because um, we're going to be slaying a lot of orcs eventually. So Stone of Friendship is done. Horn is up there. Let's see what this is. The Rohirrim will need your aid. A traveler in these parts? Very strange, but you do not look evil. Where did you hail from? What news of the lands to the west? In Rohan, go. Guests to our homes must share our bread with us. But I am afraid I have no bread to share. Sinred is the keeper of, or Kinred is the keeper of the food stores these days, and the food is well guarded in the lockhouse. You should speak to Kinred, and he will honor the Rohirrim laws and hospitality. Time to go eat some food. Hospitality in strange lands. And actually, first, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly pick up everything from our mail and uh, try to sell it on the auction house because that's what we do. Where, where's my mailbox? It's over here, right? Yes, there it is. What? It's taking forever to load. There we go. Ooh, I sold. For one gold. Awesome. Alright, so... So I'll, I'll sell these for a lot less now. Uh, basically, two to five hundred for each, um, so people can level them up. And uh, these are all <laughs> legendary items, except for the ones that have really good legacies. So those will definitely. Uh, I'll still put those up for about a gold or so. Uh, and I'll show you by what I what I mean by. Uh, Oh, so there's a letter from Gladriel. I'm in need of you, my adventuring friend in Karas, Karas Galadon. Come to me outside the house of Caliborn, my husband, and we will speak of the things I've seen in my mirror, and the friend who's held you is in my care. Which friend was this? There will be a need for you in Rohan, and of words you may wish to hear before you depart to this land. It'll begin Epic Quest 7. but not required. Okay, so if I go meet Galadriel in Karaskaradon, it will start book 7 for me. Uh, but I want to complete book 6 before I do that. So yeah, we'll finish book 6 and then we'll go meet her. So now let's go um, sell these items on the auction house. So the icon that you can see right here, which is red right now, the auctioneer, uh, that would be this building. So we go in here and we'll sell. Oh, so you can explore Sangard like this. Oh, Stangard. What Stangard. brings you to these lands? Okay. One hour, nobody's bidding, so that's probably going to expire as well. Now let's take a look. So what legendary items do we have for sale? So this healing motivation skills, inspired fellows healing, skills power costs. So they're, they're decent legacies. Uh, so we're going to go with 500 base and one gold. Because uh, that's a minstrel item. Uh, so this, we got faint attack cooldown. So yeah, this is useless. So we'll go with um, 20 and make it 150. 
I should definitely sell. Then we've got the champion sword. Relentless more strikes, wild attack damage. It's a one-handed sword and area effect. So this is definitely a good sword. We'll go with 550 and 1,500 silver. So 1.5 gold. Um, that's a that's a pretty damn good sword, um, in my opinion. I've never played champion, so if I'm wrong, people can comment and let me know. But uh, in my opinion, I think that's definitely a really good uh, good sword. So this is a captain spear. Um, Pressing attack, max targets, telling mark damage. Telling mark damage is always good. Motivational speech, so I'm going to go with 500 to 750 for this one. It's not the greatest, but it's it's, it's pretty good. 1% um, healing, this is definitely really good. For a healer, uh, or uh, basically... Okay. So for a healing... Um, healing rune keeper this is amazing look at that tier 4 tier 4 and a major one that's tier 1 but uh, you can definitely level that up I mean 1% healing over time it's gonna add up really fast um, so especially when health points get pretty high um, staff strike cooldown 1% tactical skills direct damage mm, it's a lore master staff so it's not the greatest so we'll give it for about 150 to 350 I don't know what kind of skills lore masters look for, so this one, yeah, I'm gonna do the same. Even though I think that staff was a lot better. Um, this is not the greatest, but it's not that bad either. So we'll do that minstrel. Yeah, this is definitely worth a lot. There we go. That's fine. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, this is definitely worth about two. Um, let's take a look. Hmm. Not the greatest, because the tiers on them are not that great, the legacies. Uh, but the legacies themselves are pretty good. So that's a pretty decent guardian belt. Uh, Legacy tiers are the legacies are pretty decent here, and this one definitely is worth more. So we'll go 550, 750. That should be good. Uh, Two-handed hammer for the champion. I don't know how many people go two-handed, so I'm gonna go with 250, and buyout will be 750 for this. It's it's a decent weapon. This one, not that great. Oh, it's a captain, okay. So captain, yeah, I'll do the same here. Probably 150 and 550 for this one. It's not that great. Uh, let's take a look, 1% overwhelm damage. This is a guardian's axe of the third age. One-handed. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty good in terms of damage dealing, so for a solo guardian, this would be decent. So we'll go 550, 750. Um, two handed club for a guardian. And it gives you 25 agility and 25 vitality. Guardians generally don't want agility though, I don't think, because it, it, I believe it gives you uh, evade chance, and they don't want to evade, they want to block overwhelm damage. So another. Another decent weapon, so we'll go 250 and 500. Uh, <coughs> and that pretty much does it, I think. Oh, this one's not identified. So we'll go with um, 250 and 500 as well, for those who want to identify. And then we have a lot of slots left for selling. This is traps, nobody's going to buy that. Um, Potent light oils. Uh, nobody's really gonna buy that. Nobody's gonna buy that. Let's take a look. Anything else we can sell? An unidentified guardian. Yeah, that's that's fine. Decent price. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that looks like pretty much everything we can sell here. Don't think we'll be able to sell much more. So that's that. Um, so that's the auction house, people. Um, basically, you put mon you uh, try to sell based on what items people might want. I want a, a new bow, really, because I'm 75 now. So let's search for a new bow. Hunters. Let's take a look. Crossbow of the Third Age. 21 hours. It's actually a lot better than my current weapon. Although... The bow's... Uh, what's their attack? speed. 95.9 DPS, that's a bow. And what's the DPS on this? 95.9, so it's the same DPS. 5% tougher, plus 1% hit. See, that's why I like bows better. Bows are nice. Let's take a look at this sword. It's a lot of time left. That bow is over my level, therefore I will not be getting that. I suppose 450, two days. Um, let's sort it by time. So we can see which one's closest to being able to be gotten. This one's probably the closest. So we'll bid on both of these. Um, can't bid. Oh, there we are. There we are. So we bid on both of those. And do I want the hammer? Not really. I don't really care for the hammer and everything else is two days. So, there we are. That's the auction house. Now back to the outside of Stangard. Alright, let's continue our quest. Come on. There we go. Uh, six days. Open silver. What did we get? Combat run speed bonus. 20% rump. Ooh. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, let's take a look here. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of this video. So what I'll do is I will stop it before I meet up with um, Horn here. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Oh wow, there's a lot of quests here. Each house has got a different quest it looks like. Yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. And do, can I open another one? Oh, gold for free. Nice. Uh, let's see. What do we get? Huge pile. One gold. 1.6 gold. It's not bad. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, we'll continue next um, tomorrow. So see you guys. <laughs>